we were doing really well. I think we were about third, third season in the Championship. So we're overachieving massively. Just had a really good win away, Friday night game at Tranmere, 1-3-2. And we we're having a training, we're in the gym, went on, session dragged on and on and on. And it got to the end, someone just ran and I let them go. And it was right at the end of a game. I think we were 2-0 down, round robin, five aside. We're 2-0 down, last 30 seconds, boy and through and scored anyway. So I thought we can't, well, we lost anyway, we'll be off. <laughs> and, and, he, and, then, and he said, stop, 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 stop. And he goes, what the fuck are you doing? I went, what? He went, you let him run. And I said, well, we're off, and we've lost, haven't we? And he went, fuck. And, and I said, I'm knackered. I think I said, I'm knackered as well. I've been in here for two hours in this gym. And, and he went, fucking knackered. He said, fuck off. So he sent me out the gym and I didn't realise. But as I opened the gym door, it was 100 mile hour wind and rain up in Burnley, which was every day, perhaps, <laughs> pretty much so, yeah. So the doors flew open, crashed open, and I'm walking across the car park. So I get halfway across the car park and John Mullin comes running out. He says, yeah, Blake, he, he wants you back in. <laughs> <laughs> so I turn around, like, I'm soaked, like, rain's coming, wind's blowing. And as I'm walking back, all of a sudden he comes out the door. So I'm right, here goes, his face is like, he's fuming. So I'm walking back, walking back. And as I get to him, I know what's coming here. Here we go. And he's giving me the right hook. And as I walk past him, I, I've just sort of blocked it. And I've sort of caught it on the top of my hand. And, and then he sort of grabbed me and we've fallen back through the doors. And I think it was like Cookie and Kevin Ball. They've come running over, grabbed him. And he's like, you lanky piece of piss. I'll fucking do you. And he's, he's trying to kick me like, around him and he's like, trying to boot me. I'm, I'm half trying not to laugh. I'm thinking, what's he doing? He goes, fucking get out the other door. So I walk across the gym. So you got out the wrong door. I'm going out the wrong door. And I think he, like, he, he tried to say, I kicked open the doors. I never. I just opened the door, but the wind and rain. So, so I'm okay. I walk out the door. So I go out the other gym door, back. I'm sat in the dressing room, waiting. So then they all come in. So the experienced players all come in. Come on, Glenn, go and have a word of him. He sat up in the laundry, used to sit in the laundry. Just look, we're going well. We don't need this to, to sort of get, get in away. Just go and say you're sorry. I'm easy going. Don't, don't give a fuck about anything. Okay, fair enough. Uh, even though it's not my fault. Okay. So I walk in, I said, Gaff, I wanted them things. Get on with it. Uh, everything's all right. He went, fuck off. You, you never play for the club again. <laughs> Now, 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 considering he said that to me about four times, and I've been there four years, I'm like, okay, okay, yeah. So I, I said to the boys, I, I've done it, I tried, he, he's not happy. So <laughs> it seems like it was so in box down the Sam, line. So Sam, he's assistant. I don't know what you do to him, but you wind him up. <laughs> he said he wants you running this afternoon. Okay. So we go out round the pitch. So we go for the jog. Me and Sam run. He goes, I don't want to run you. He says, but... I don't see a way back for you. He said, I think you're finished. So, okay. Now, I sort of won't bother because I'm thinking, well, someone will take me tomorrow. I'm not giving, uh, I'm I'm not giving well it the big one, but yeah. I am giving it the big one because yeah. I'm thinking, fair enough, I won't play. I think I've done uh, plenty of takers. We, we've come into the championship. We're flying, okay. So, I, he said, but you, you do you do wind him up. You do things. You shouldn't have said that. I said, <laughs> no, I said, at the end of the day, I said, but... Like, I'm not having anyone hit me. <laughs> and he went, no, he never, he never hit you. I went, yes, he did. He, and he went, oh, I never saw that. I never saw that. And I went, well, I'm not going to lie, am I? Because I said, at the end of it, I'm not bothered. I said, but he's hit me. <laughs> okay, okay. He goes, well, don't run, don't run. So we went in. So I go home. Two hours later, I get a phone call. News of the world. Glenn, we've heard that Stan Turns hit you. Is, is that true? Would you like to make a comment? And, and I just said, no. I said, no, nah, look, nothing, nothing to tell. I said, things happen in football. Like, like I said, I'm thinking this is from my days at Palace. Yeah. Th- these things happen. So I just thought, nah, no, no story to tell. We go in the next day, don't we? No one says nothing. We're all in the dressing room at training. And Sam come in, we're going for a walk. And we used to do this a lot at Burnley. It was called this factory walk. A lot of the times, the training ground was so heavy back in them days. So we just come out, we go for a walk. He set off first. The gaff, he's 30 yards ahead of everyone. Set off with a couple of his, uh, his assistants. We were walking. He hasn't said nothing to me. And then um, as, as we walked around, it, it t- used to take about half an hour, this walk. 
some bit bit longer. It would have taken you probably about forty minutes. Probably. <laughs> but but yeah, me and Robbie Blake used to be out the back, about twenty <laughs> yards behind everyone. Yeah, so um, we finally get back to training ground. He went right, come on in. We go. He said, yeah, I apologise. Yeah, well, oh no, he never apologised. He said, yeah, Glenn. He said he could have had me up. He said he could have. Like, told the chairman I'd been sacked on the garden leave he said I'm not bothered in, in, in my house I'd have gone back doing my garden I'm not bothered but yeah he said but if I find out who grasped that I'll kneecap you because <laughs> he said we got like the mole he said if there's that grass he said if I find out who it is I'll kneecap you so I don't know who it was who, who was the I one was who, who grasped but and then he went and then he said Sam if you want to stay here do some finishing you get on with it the rest of you go go in and have your shower so and then that was it and he said you're up like and I went yeah right Gaffin and went in and I said that's the best of apology as, as you could have got yeah, yeah. but yeah, what I heard was that there was a woman who worked at the club in the offices up, up the stairs she was in her car and she she was having her lunch but she didn't get out because it was raining so she just thought, oh, I'm not going to get out of my car. It's lashing down. I just eat my sandwich in it. She's in the car, seen him hit me in a car park. <laughs> oh. So his words obviously got back that, no, he has been seen. Someone at the club seen him hit me. He, had, he didn't have a leg to stand on. And and that was it. But again, it's brave man to sack him because he, he ran the club. Even yeah. the chairman was, you and what. the directors, he bullied them. How did he know that the news of the world had been in touch with you and you hadn't said anything? Well, I don't know. It's just, it was just that, I, I don't even know if he ever knew what could have happened. I, I, yeah. there's, there's no doubt about it. I could have got him sacked two or three times. <laughs> <laughs> If I would have wanted to, and if I'd have been one of them players, a bit of a grass myself, but to me it was just you know, football, things happen. I was a tough character myself, even though I, they, they used to say... The 